Good morning, YouTube. I uh, got a big day planned, so uh, I'm going to take you as long for some of the day. I should have started last night, or yesterday evening, I should say. I took a tree down that was beside my house. The limbs are starting to hang out over the house, so uh, it was time for it to go. I should have uh, I should have had, uh, had the camera rolling while I dropped it, but just in case it would have landed in the house, if it would have... Uh, Went back the other way, I might have made a little bit of money, but it fell the way I wanted it to and nothing got damaged. So that's one thing I could get at. I could clean that up and junk it all up into firewood. It's uh it's popple, but if you dry popple you can you can burn it pretty well. It's not as good as hardwood, but but it'll do. That and I'm gonna take these over to the garden now. Alright, I had the old tiller out. I tilled everything up good. I got down the good and deep this year and I added three bags of Promix to my soil it's got a, quite a bit of peat moss in it and and a little compost and some vermiculite and stuff like that my soil looks pretty gray I got pretty clay soil here when you get down down to the bottom that's that's it's pretty nasty stuff it's just clay but I got the topsoil there coming pretty good now. You get through the dry, and you get down to look at uh, look at my soil, and it's starting to come pretty good. I uh, I use uh, compost tea all summer to feed my plants. I don't use any fertilizer. Uh, I try to grow organic. I uh, I might not buy organic seeds, but I use. Uh, I don't use any any chemical fertilizer or anything like that, any water fertilizer. It's all compost tea and compost. So, little uh, little start to the day. I gotta run over to the general store and pick up some chain oil and some uh, and some gas, and, and we'll get started. All right, I'll give you a little look at my saw. I had a Johnson Red 2159. It's a professional series. A lot of the guys working in the woods use these. Uh, you always want to keep your chain sharp. I ain't going to do a video on sharpening the chains. I'm going to sharpen mine now. There's lots of videos out there. Guys that know a lot more than me about sharpening. I uh, I have a guy across the road from me that I sharpen mine three or four times and usually I'll take it over to him and get him to put a put a good finish on it. I can, I can sharpen it a little and keep it sharp, but after after three or four times there, it's time to take it over to him and let him uh, give a good sharpening. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to sharpen my saw and, and get cutting. Hey, right. doesn't doesn't take long to knock a tree into stove block lengths. I got pretty much whatever stove block lengths cut out of it that I can. There's a lot laying on the ground there. I got to pick up. I piled some up. Chainsaw is put away. So I had a little sweat going on there. Now it's warm here today. So it was time for a beer. Once the saw is away, you can you can have one of them, but try to stay away from them before. And for all you safety sallies, I did have chainsaw pants on and safety boots. And uh, now my protection was my uh, my video glasses there. I don't know. Uh, I haven't downloaded it to the computer yet, so I don't know what it looks like or if it's even worth putting up. So anyway. Just a little look at Sunday after Sunday noon there. Next project is get in the garden and, and put I'm gonna put Swiss chari in and well you guys will see all that in a bit. Anyway, we got a little bit started here. That that piece there, that's carrots. It's four rows of carrots. Doesn't look like a very big patch, but uh, when you got four rows that are six feet long, that's 24 feet of carrots. That's quite a few carrots and hopefully we'll be able to get two of them this year. We'll harvest them in the middle of summer and replant and harvest them again in the fall. This piece here is the black seed leaf lettuce. I'm going to do it the same as I did last year underneath my cucumber trellis. I'll grow the cucumbers along the sides and the lettuce in the middle and I'll have my trellis up and it'll shade the lettuce nice and, and keep it from going to bolt. And in front of this, I'm going to uh, do about the same size patch with uh, 
with romaine lettuce. I just haven't got them in yet. I got to uh, I got to do that. That's that's my next thing. Over there's run one row of peas. It's the same. It's it's about seven feet long. I'll do three rows there of peas. I want to stagger the stagger start them. I'll have one row now and another row in two weeks and another row two weeks after that. That way there you don't get all of them at the same time and you can eat all of them. Now this here, from the bottom of the screen up to the end, that's Swiss char. There's four rows of Swiss char there. It's the same as the carrots. It's a little over six feet long, so there's over 24 feet of Swiss char. And the beets, the beets is about five feet long, and I got three rows of that, so that's 15 feet of beets. So that, uh, that'll be something else I'll replant. Imagine uh, by the middle of summer the beets will be done and I'll be able to replant the beets and we'll have beet greens and beets and It's great. I love greens. I eat I eat uh, greens all the time. I uh, It's probably about my favorite thing out of the garden is greens Anyway, a little look at my garden. I want to wish everybody a happy Victoria Day weekend and Thanks for watching